Hi, Norman Holtzhausen here from Boating New Zealand and today we're reviewing the Strider 900C, the latest model from Strider Marine. This 9 meter boat builds on the previous model of the 600C catamaran. Fully amphibious, it's got the Generation 2 Orion full-time four-wheel drive amphibious system. Two wheels at the back, two at the front in a single uh, steerable pod. As you can see, we've actually dropped the boat down onto the beach to make it easier to get on and off the boat. This boat has got the Yamaha 250 horsepower V6 motor. Um, the new owner is however going to uh, go for the 300 as soon as stocks are available. We have found the performance from this 250 being astonishing for a 9 meter boat and no doubt the 300 will be even better. Top speed was just over 41 knots um, and we cruised very comfortably at around 25 knots. The Orion system is powered by an auxiliary motor hidden under this hatch here. Easy access to the motor driving all the hydraulics. You'll notice how compact this hatch is. It doesn't intrude into the cockpit very much. This is a very big volume boat, nine meters in length, 2580 in beam. Makes it slightly over width, but it can be towed during the daytime with appropriate warning flags. Massive amount of space in the cockpit, nice high gunnels, making it very safe to lean against while fishing. Interior seating in the boat is through two king and queen pods. Lots of space underneath, a chilly bit under that side, the storage compartment under this side. The skippers and passenger seats both fully adjustable, they slide backwards and forwards. They rotate round. The skipper seat is fully adjustable. It has a bolster which can be lifted to make it comfortable while standing. They slide backwards and forwards and they can be turned around. Under the seat are some drawers. These are fully insulated and can be used as a chili bin for putting ice or similar inside them. The helm position is beautifully provisioned with a 16 inch Garmin display, multifunction display. Everything controlled from one very large, very bright screen. To the right of the, the display are the controls for the amphibious um, drive. Single button to deploy the wheels, single button to put them away. Um, forward and back and then steering is through the same steering as the outboard. To the left of the Garmin display a series of switches, conventional switches for all of the accessories on board. Zip wake trim tabs to, to control the pitch of the boat and also to keep it on an even keel. And then just above the Garmin electronic displays for the Yamaha outboard. This boat also has the GME handheld VHF radio which is a very uh, practical way of making the best use of space. Instead of having a dashboard occupied by VHF, it's all in the handset. The motor is controlled by a fully electronic fly-by-wire throttle and gear shift, which makes it very smooth to operate. Forward bunk is a triple berth, entirely suitable for an overnight trip. Essential for a boat to be used for extended day trips is, of course, a toilet. Electric toilet, fully plumbed in. This this boat is of course set up for fishing with a massive rocket launcher rod holder along the back of the cockpit, fully padded gunnels and a shelf running the full length of the side of the boat. There's no uh, divider in that shelf so you can put a fishing rod, a full length fishing rod on the shelf and there's a, a shelf below it as well, so a double shelf. Here at the stern of the boat we can see this beautiful build quality and the painted finish. Every square inch of aluminium is painted. The getting onto the boat is very easy thanks to the steps built into the Orion system. And here we can see the zip wake uh, trim tabs. As we step up onto the boat, the boarding platform is foam padded and in the step through here is a live bait tank. Okay, here at the pointy end is the business end of the Orion four-wheel drive system. This model is the first four-wheel drive mono hull boat in New Zealand. In addition to the drive, there's this very clever camera which displays on the multifunction display showing you exactly where the wheels are pointing. While underway, this wheel mechanism 
folds up, tucked up tight against the bow, and as you will see from the running shots, it stays well clear of the water. So one of the important design concepts of the, the Strider Mona hull is the wheels sit up tight against the flared part of the hull. That means that the spray, which comes off the wheels, is deflected away from the hull while underway. This hull has got amazing ground clearance for a 9 meter boat. As you can see, it will easily clear any obstacles on the beach. The conditions on today's review day were pretty rough. There were some big seas out there. We powered through them without any difficulty in the Strider. Even when we got airborne through some of the wakes, uh, we came down relatively softly and there was no pounding. talking with Ross, the new owner of this boat. So Ross, you've got one of the other amphibious boats. What made you choose the new Strider? Um, well, with the one that we already have, it's an open pontoon boat, and we're looking for something that had a little bit of shelter, a few more creature comforts, and maybe a little bit more range, so that we can take advantage of where we are down on the Coromandel and start to explore a little bit further afield. So how did you find the build process in dealing with the guys from Strider? They've been fantastic. With it being a first build, there were some things that we needed to work through collectively, and Warren and the crew have been great. Listen to what our input, having come off different boats, and have been very, very accommodating, and nothing's been too difficult for them. It's just been a really easy process all the way through, and I can't thank them enough. Once again, Strider have produced a magnificent boat. Top quality build, fantastic performance, world beating previous technology, makes it convenient, economical to run, and just a fantastic boat. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.